They're so bag, baby. Look at this. Luscious, beautiful, everything as it should be. Feeling like a human once again. Look at this side, look at the other side. That's right. Six months of no barber. And then I did it, boys. We're so back, it's not even funny. Anyway, how's it going, boys? And 3.5%. Today, because I am so happy, I'm gonna take myself to my happy place. Which should not be Magic the Gathering, honestly. But in any case, we're gonna do something that I always enjoy doing in this game. And that is playing Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. And Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. I love this build. Historic, colorless, turn 4, destruction. It is beautiful, I love it, and I hope you also will. We're using only Sandal and Sandal and Forsaken Monument, a little bit of that, a one of Ringu, because why honestly not at this point, a bunch of lands, 21 to be specific. Actually, I can easily just cut it down to, uh, well, tw uh, tw uh, 20, uh, 20 lands and put in one extra ring if I feel like it. Most of the times, you don't draw more than three lands because that would be heresy and too overpowered, said some loser at wizards. So, in any case, this is how we're gonna do it. All the ramp, all the good stuff, I decided to use power shards this time. Why? Because I feel like it. In any case, beautiful. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's get a Kraken and see what happens. Opponent goes first, Zelfram Void. Ooh, maybe we get a third land if we're lucky. No, just the Hedron, the Ghidron. I'm completely fine with this. Because we do have the Temporal Gateway and Semblance Anvil. Which means, well, we're gonna do big things. Big things, ahoy. Oh, yes. If we get a land, also those big things are gonna be really, really good. Remember, Platinum Angel does not allow you to lose the game. Which means... Well, you probably understand what it means, right? It's not really complicated. Can't lose the game. But your enemy sure can lose the game. So let's put the uh, cad on purple. And I think our opponent already is contemplating his concede button click options. Because he sees that mind stone. And when you see a mind stone, you know something's wrong. He didn't play a, tur a card turn one. Low skill. He didn't play a card turn two. The lowest skill I have seen in my life, probably. And now... Well, now we're just gonna drop the Temporal Gateway. <laughs> ah, I love dropping the Temporal Gateway. After that, I can drop an Ugin. I'm probably gonna drop the Ugin. And I'm gonna play Hedron the Ghidrons. Or I'm gonna do something differently. Who wants to know? Uh, I think he's playing a combo. Maybe he's playing uh, self, self discard reanimation, but who knows? In any case, uh, we can all clearly see that this guy is extremely skilled at magic because he hasn't done anything for multiple turns now. What is this even? Create rat creature tokens? I'm sorry. Is this Narni or something? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. You're playing historic. And you're unironically, some magically how, playing wedding announcement. Are you insane? Are you... Are you legally insane, I wonder? Well, in any case, we're popping off and that's... At the end of the day, I think that's all that matters, boys. Oh, yeah. I think that's all that matters. Oh, wow, look at that. You know what's my favorite part about playing Historic? It's playing in these uh, against these people who under don't understand that, uh, well, the game is designed that you literally just do this. You know, play something like this. And uh, that's kind of it. Everything else is just lies, honestly, at this point, okay? So, what do I do? I can play the uh, Platinum Angel on his turn if I feel like it, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna wait until he has... Ooh... Ooh, look at that. I mean, that's that's good game right there. How will I ever recover? I mean, look at this. That's like 50 trillion tokens or something. But, you know, never fret because uh, reasons, obviously. Gonna play the Platinum Angel, and then I'm gonna hit him with the beautiful, beautiful everything. Man. He did a lot of damage there, boys. 
I mean, I'm on the ropes, as everyone can clearly see, right? Oh, wait, Ugin incoming. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I'm evil. But you should honestly already also know that by this point. Anyway. Huh? Huh? Are you telling me these are artifacts? Okay. I do not know that. Well, actually, I probably did, but at no point did I even remotely care. It's it, it's good. It's it's fine anyway, because again, luscious boys, it is what it is. That, that That's going to solve all my issues. My stupidity, my low IQ, uh, my, my blatant... Auth Ooh, look at that. Wow. Dude, this boy's kind of... Mm, he's, he's, he's pushing real deep here. Wow! Yeah, we still have the... Moth... Moth... <laughs> no one's bell spring. That's hot. I would drink that bath water. Not gonna lie. Anyway. Uh, he's gonna attack me. Probably attack me, you know, directly. Because uh, who knows what B uh, Blink Moth Nexus honestly does, right? Uh, and it does stuff, by the way, if anyone's not uh, not familiar with Bl uh, Blink Moth Nexus. It does things, okay? And one of those things is becomes a creature. Well, actually, that's technically the only thing it does. But it's really good because it actually is... Wait, there's no way you have a one-cost card that destroys the Blink Moth Nexus, okay? I mean, relax, Chief. Relax. Oh. Oh, wow, he actually... Wow. Okay, um, do I want to play? Nah, I, I think it's fine, I think it's fine. Okay, so uh, here's the thing that we still do. We activate, because why not? Bam! And free Ugin, anyway. I isn't that beautiful? Isn't that abs- Ooh, another, an another uh, Ringu. In any case, let's entertain our friend here, right? He, he, he can do stuff. I don't even know what Norn's Wellspring honestly does, but it's probably dumb anyway. Well, actually, I do remember it. It does something. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I clearly don't actually remember what it does. But it does something, okay? And I feel that that's all that matters at the end of the day, okay? Exiling a couple of his lands, because never forget... The beauty of U U U Ulamog himself. Oh, yes. Then I'm gonna do this. Do that. And I'm gonna choose nothing, because of reasons. Then I'm gonna do this. Get a little bit more of that sweet, uh, sweet umphal umphal juice. And just replay it, because, uh, balance and stuff. Someone at Wizards probably has never said in their life. And now we're just gonna have fun. Yes, we're just gonna have a little bit of tiny incy fun. It's gonna be great. I also love the fact that he's looking at, at, at Ugin and thinking like, hmm, I can probably deal with this. See, the thing with uh, Historic that is currently absolutely just mind-meltingly amazing is the fact that people literally have no idea what Historic format is in reality all about. They play a little bit, they try to have some fun. And at the end of the day, they always get hit with this simple realization that, wait a minute, the historic format is actually literally only about overpowered things like Hugin and Ulamog, and elves, and goblins, and you know, things of that nature. And the realization, you know, that that sweet realization with all when all of the dreams just get absolutely crushed. I mean, look at this guy. He has a J Salvatar, okay? Look at that, a J Salvatar. I mean, this guy is an absolute magic fanboy, okay? Magic is the best game in the universe, in his honest opinion. I would call anyone who says that unironically, by the way, completely blatantly crazy. But you know, it is what it is. In any case, uh, we just hit him. Let's see what we exiled. Ooh, Urabrisk Forge. What a hit. Wow. Also, by the way, this... This kind of constitutes as a standard dig, but he's... Oh, no, no. No, wait, no. This is standard. So, this guy's just playing essentially what is... Well, no, also, this isn't standard. I'm confused. <laughs> I am so confused. 
In any case, confused or not, I'm gonna attack with the Lulamog, and I'm just gonna... Okay. I mean, Giga Chat for attacking. Good game, bruh! Yo, his face got melted off and he's saying good game. That That's your typical Johnny Avatar enjoyer right there, boys. Beautiful. Oh, man, like a lamb to the slaughter. They're all like lambs to the slaughter, honestly, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna attack with the Ugin. Yeah, well, actually, I'm gonna attack with everything, but you know, that's fine. Boom, shakalaka. Two cards left. I want to see if he actually... Well, oh no, he doesn't even block. He knows what's up. He's a, he's a smart Johnny Avatar. Good game. Going second, but we do have a pretty... Ooh, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. Inventor's fair, though. That's not really too useful here. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the most predominant thing in his store, even, by the way, because this is... Whatever this is, this is garbage. Okay, but I'm going to share with you... The most absolutely, most powerful, predominant strategy to win games in Historic. Go first. Going first in Actuality is like 80% win rate in Historic. If we're talking about actual, you know, quality games. And I know the term quality games kind of seems a, a little bit hyperbolic to a degree here. But, you know, it's, just, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... We got the Temporal Gateway, which means we can either cheat out Forsaken Monuments, or we can get out pl uh, Platinum Angels. Our options are Limitless. And with Limitless, I mean... Pfft. Watch him mill two Ugins. Oh no, he didn't mill a single Ugin. Wow. Wow. Low skill. Low skill again. Wow, my dude. Please. In any case, can I draw an Ugin in that case? No, another Forsaken Monument. Why? Because the reasons, obviously. Okay, so the plan is like this. If I if I do this... No, I'm not going to have enough mana. Okay, okay. The plan's simple. I actually want to kind of get rid of Ashiok, so, you know, it be what it is. He can, act, uh, he can fight the Platinum Angel, which is super mega annoying and big bad, but... In general, I think it, I, I think I think it's as fine as it gets. Could have actually blocked that technically. Hmm. Yonder, I wonder. Is he not? Oh, oh, there goes Dugan and Ulamog. Wow. That that's a cold, solid, good hit on all of the things that I could be casting. Oof. Well, it is what it is. Okay, how do I do this now? Okay, yeah, I, I think for one, we definitely want to just play Platinum Angel here like it is. Do, does he have removal? Who knows? But, you know, I mean, it's just it's just life. Life is unpredictable and whatnot. And, you know, what's predictable? Doing the Temporal Gateway, doing this, bam, and then just dropping it like it's hot. If he destroy, If he goes for the Platinum Angel, it's not like he can do anything else anyway, so it's fine. So, let us hope for a better life. And, you know, let's hope that everything happens here. I, I can now sacrifice the Mind Stones, and I can actually do a little bit... Well, I can do this also. But what do we want here? Hmm. You know what we do want? Probably another Platinum Angel just to be uh, giga safe, right? Yeah, another Platinum Angel kind of sounds uh, super good here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me this is an infinity combo with Paul Kranos. There's no way, my sweet dear summer child. He just... Oh, he got a land, I think. That could potentially be who knows at this point. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> How do I play this even? That's that's the real question. So yeah, we definitely go for uh, another plat. Oh, actually, I could go for the one Ringu because that's really really prime. Can I drop the double blah 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 to one mana left, one mana left? Nope. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this because I want that one ring magic right here, boys. Okay, it is what it is. Activate the one ring. Draw. Eh. 
but it's technically good because it's kind of what I wanted. And I will attack him because reasons. Yeah, we have the ring protection, so I don't really care too much. Wait, is that a new animation for death? I can't... Is that a new animation also for... Uh, learn? I forgot the mechanics name, don't judge me. Uh, that would be crazy if that was a new mechanic for learn. Because you need to understand, learn is a dead mechanic at this point. There is no... Okay, chief. I mean, sus, questionable, and absolutely haram, but, you know, it is what it is. I think we can deal with it. Again, we have more Platinum Angels. At this point, bro, there's no world where we don't hit mo- Wait, he also exiled the ring, right? Yeah. So, we got a Platinum Angel, so, you know, life's kind of kicking, life's good in the hood and whatnot, so it's not that bad. Admittedly, it is definitely annoying. There, there's a bigger chance that we draw a land, because remember what I said about, you know, only having three lands? There it is. There, there, there it is. You can call me many things. A liar. A cheat. Really? That's your choice? Are you completely brain damaged? Well, I, I, I do think so. And yes, we, we, we did a giga, a giga chat draw that thing. So, can I actually play? Yeah, 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 I can still get the Platinum Angel. It's not a big deal. Oh, there we go. The Ugin. Oh, boys. Man, it, it, it was fun while it lasted. But at the end of the day, you know what? Hey, even wizards can't save you from fate. And I'm a big fan of fate, boys. Oh, yeah. Uh, so get absolutely shwasted, my dude. Everything's in exile. Have fun. Say la vie. It is what it be. He created a food token. Wow, this guy's like crying super hot. I honestly feel kind of bad for the people who play this game and try this, this clearly hot, by the way, to a degree. Because it's kind of pointless. <laughs> It is kind of just definitely pointless, but you know it is what it is. Okay, I can sim. No, 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 no. First we drop this. Then we semblance on Velu. I mean, it's free real estate at the end of the day, so you know it is what it is. Okay, semblance anvil that, and I think I have. There, there's nothing he can do right at this po uh, mo point uh, to just actually win against me. So. I might as well just do this. I might as well even drop it to one ring. Again, uh, literally man and stuff for days. Man, I'm so enjoying playing Ugin and Ulamog. It is. It really is. It, al it, it always some magically how just is the most enjoyable thing ever. Especially doing this to a lot of opponents. Okay. So. As long as he doesn't drop another Ashiok and, you know, completely ruin my mood, I think we're fine. He can't really use the Castle Garbage Stain. Actually, no, this is Castle Lockwain. The the green one is Castle Garbage... He just did what? Are you sure about that? Wow, that is questionable. In any case, I should actually hit the uh, uh, bu 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 buried runes. <laughs> then why are you playing I Twitch? How did you? Oh, you you have okay, Pyrexian Tower. I, I thought for a moment, how is he even doing that? Okay, what is he gonna do now? What's the Giga Chat play? Another Forsaken Monument. Like, what the hell is this guy's deal? I I don't. I just don't get it. What, what, what do you mean? He's just constantly targeting the Forsaken Monument. What did the Forsaken Monument ever do to you? I have way too much mana on the field. My dude, targeting Forsaken Monument is arguably worse than the One Ring or Temporal Gateway. But, you know, a landslide, honestly, at this point. But yeah, he kind of seemingly just absolutely does not care. Maybe he was trying to prevent an OTK from me doing this. But then again, it's not like I'm smart enough to actually notice that this was probably uh, lethal. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, he got removal, I think. 
Oh, oh no, sweet G. No, 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 he doesn't. Good, okay. Six HP left. He does have a food token. Have fun. Oh, oh, he, he got he got he got a fatal push for the time to be alive. Dude, remember when Fatal Push came in the game and everyone was like, Oh my god, Fatal Push is crazy! Don't tell me it's three Fatal Pushes, because that would be kind of slightly annoying. Not actually threatening, but annoying. And Fatal Push was instantaneously like the best removal ever. Man, those were the times. Again, I will say this so many times. Amonkhet. Uh, Eater Hub. All of those M, M, not M, but, uh, M, no, yeah, M23, I think. M23. Man, those were the good days of Magic. When Arena first came out, it wasn't just a bunch of stupid rigged games and all of that garbage. Man, it was good. It was good times, boys. Games were fun and interesting. Still kind of low skill, but, you know, fun and interesting, at the bare minimum. And now, now look at this. It's, it's, it's just disappointing, isn't it? It's really just disappointing at the end. It is what it is. Oh, I can't actually gain any more HP. Maybe his play was destroy my Forsaken Monument so I can no longer... Yeah, I think that was actually his play. I mean... Not the smartest play I have seen in the world, but definitely not the dumbest. So I'm gonna take back a uh, Platinum Angel. Just to prove a point that Forsaken Monument doesn't really matter here. You know, it's all good, it's all good. I have the mana for casting the portal gateway anyway, so I think we're fine. Well, obviously. He has 7 mana and the ball of Citadel. There is a world where he pops off like there's no tomorrow, but there's also a world where he double lands and then cries himself to sleep. As you should for using Shuri as an avatar. I don't know if that character's name is actually Shuri, but I find it absolutely ironic around the time when Wakanda Forever existed, this thing came out. And it's the smart and it's it's the smartest thing ever. 10 out of 10 wizards uh, have that ESG score, my friends. Uh, I hope that... I don't know. I hope that... <laughs> I hope that couple of million that Blackrock gave you through ESG score really, really, really mad. Did he just target my Ugin? Yes, he did. Wow. I hope that million or couple of million that you got from Blackrock really was worth it, by the way, Wizards. I really hope it was just so worth it at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm uh, gonna drop this. Why? Because reasons. I can't actually let him do this, but then again, it's completely fine. I have... I have this. Oh, I should have actually done this. Who cares at this point, right? Anyway, yeah, this is fine. Why does he have a Nugan, by the way? Does anyone even know? He didn't, uh, he didn't pay life for Dugan, otherwise he... Wait, he doesn't have a skin for Dugan. Oh, no! Oh, no! Yes, by the way, I have a Nugan skin. I also have a Nulamog skin, if anyone's wondering. Okay, he hits face. Uh, honestly... Kinda almost threatening at this point, but remember, I can just get the Forsaken Monument out of my graveyard anytime I please, and it's absolutely fine. A little bit unexpected, but, uh, Giga Smart plays. Expected from Shuri from Wakanda. No, I'm surprised there is no card with actually her for WAKANDA FOREVER! Ah. Uh. Wow, he actually targeted my Blink Mod Nexus. What a time to be alive. In any case... Do I not have basic lands? Yeah, I don't have basic lands, by the way. <laughs> he actually dealt damage to me, boyos! He did! Oh, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. Whoa. Okay, okay, he's popping off, boys! He's popping off! 
Oh, he's popping off a land of one elf. I'm gonna exile all of this again just just to make a point. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit in the middle and it, it's pretty it's pretty joker. Okay. Well let me do this because if he hates my if he thinks he can win through Forsaken Monument destruction, ah, uh, okay. He, he ha, ha, have fun, Chief. Ha, have fun. You you made your choice, you made your bed. We're we're bro both grown adults, probably. Call me, wink wink. Um and Field of Ruin, why not? Forsaken Monument, why absolutely not? And do this, and... Wait, am I exiling or am I finishing him? You know what? I'm gonna be the nice dude here, and I'm gonna just finish him. Wait, I oh, I need to hit the goose. Then we can finish him. Look at that, not even minus sixing him just to establish dominance. I'm a changed man. I would also, by the way, love some ESG squad money. Blackrock, Vanguard, Morgan Stanley. Do I need to keep calling names? <laughs> Please? Please? Oh, he's gonna sa- Oh no, he's sacrificing it! How, how did I not notice this? Man... Every time I play against these idiots, the funniest part is that they're actually a worthwhile matchup for me because we're kind of at the same level. Well, the difference is they're sweating and trying and they're thinking this is the battle of a millennium. I'm here like hitting my head against the table and being like, Haha, oh, I misplayed 15 times in a millisecond. New personal record. Oh, I broke it again. It is what it is. He hits the face! Oh no! And that's it? That that's that's really it? You just, you just that that that's it? Oh no, he's actually going for it, boys. Man, look at that land of water elf being all land. I could have blocked, but that doesn't matter at this point, obviously. <gasps> oh no! Is he gonna take the easy way out? Is he gonna commit glorious seppuku? As most people should. Let's see. Oh! Wait, that actually kind of would almost kill me. That is hilarious. But I can actually uh, do this. Uh, obvious things are obvious. Uh, then I can actually do this. So, the Guardian Idol gets sacrificed. I actually lost one game previously because I didn't remember that. But, you know, it is what it is. And no one cares. Oh, look at that! Big plays, big plays. Huh? Destroy target non land permanent and all other permanents. How? Why? And when? Is the universe trying to tell me something? Nah. Nah, this is, this is normal RNG, obviously. So, you know, it is what it is. At least we got three lands. That's a red aggro, by the way. Watch. 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 Only, again, again, only a red aggro player can take this long to figure out that he needs to drop a... Elves! Idiot. It's close. It's it's fine, boys. It's fine. Trust in the system, okay? We get the we, dude. We get that third portal gateway down. We absolutely cooking. Slivers. Oh wait, and he got the OP sliver at the opener. Oof. <laughs> Maybe this is probable. <laughs> of course, wizards. Ten out of ten. Dude, I love how the RNG just changes on a dime. Previously, you were in a situation where you would never get three copies of a single card in the first twenty draws. But now, now we're living in a world where getting three copies of X is like, oh yeah, this is normal, this this is family friendly, this is kosher. What a time to be a time. Anyway, it depends on what he actually does with the slivers. There are sliver combos that can uh, kill the angel, and there's sliver combos that play double herald, uh, herald's horde and are stupid. He's still gonna get... I mean, there's Giga Chads, and then there's this guy, honestly, at this point. I'm afraid. 
What are we seeing here? Another... Whoa, he... Oh, that's... That's a questionable sliver. By the way, I haven't done slivers in... Oh, that's 70 card slivers, by the way. That's not just advanced stupidity. The... Mm hmm Okay, wizards. I mean... Things happen and stuff uh, and stuff is whatever. It's it's fine. Okay, so even though this is kind of hilarious, funny, and all the things in the in between and in the middle, we actually are in a pretty tight danger zone because remember, slivers with uh, with the mana f uh, sliver and followed up with the two cost rocket sliver can literally win against anything and everything, which makes this kind of tricky. I know this is funny because Anarchy XP. God, I hate this game so much. I hate. <laughs> wait, why can't? Oh, because oh, yeah. That, I was thinking. Wait, why can't I sacrifice the, the b body old ruins to do with the inventor's fair search option? I am all again, again, as always. I am literally a 100% worthwhile enemy to these people because I am as stupid as them. Okay, Wizards is holding my hand also, but in a different way, in a sadder way. In fact, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be more draws overall than you know the alternative. There we go. There, there we go. Okay, time to absolutely demolish this beast. Oh wow, look at that. He he has he's doing stuff, boys. Oof. Okay. I mean you can make this up and at the same time you can't make this up. It's uh, we live in a society as one might even honestly say at this point. It is what it is. Uh yeah, okay. I mean uh sure, maybe it's my fault for not putting the cat on purple. Another one, eh? That is, that is so absolutely cool, said someone that vis- Bruh, I mean, I, I see you're trying really hard to make, uh, to, to make Autism EX work right here. But, I mean, even with all of what, ev 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 with all of everything that's currently happening, I, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna press X to doubt. Should I play one of these just for fun? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Oh man, what a time to be alive. Three slivers, by the way. He actually has the leeching sliver. Wow, that is dumb. That is some dumb stuff. Okay, so uh, we're playing against sl Herald's Horn sl Arcane uh, Immortal Sun Slivers. Now. I don't exactly know what's happening, but you know, something's definitely happening. Okay, do you think he has removal, by the way? Do you think this Platinum Angel is magically just gonna fall over and, you know, get yeeted and deleted? I mean, there is a chance, but... I, I, I think we should still press X to doubt here. But... What could a what could a person like this honestly even play? You know. In any case, that got deleted, so this effect is a little bit weaker. So I guess it's fine. Blah blah blah. Five fives. Who cares? At the end of the day, gain a little bit of damage because of reasons. Ah, oh, there we go. It's all mug. Uh, skill triumphs over everything at the end of the day, as, uh, as one might say. Can I actually play this still if I... Uh, no, I cannot. Eh. Hmm, that's slightly annoying. Well, whatever. Uh, here's an Olmog. Uh, have fun. <laughs> oh, here's an Olmog. Yeah, have, have fun. Do you remember the time when th this game was not full of mouth breathers? I vaguely remember it. It seems so long ago that it doesn't almost seem real at this point. But there was a time. <laughs> it's arguable, was that time better or this is more entertaining? 
I kind of think that this is really entertaining on one hand, because the amount of stuff you see here is just off the ball blatantly insane. Let's offensively good game him and now give him a little bit of Kiora and Liliana uh, emote mix. And it looks like he's roping because... No, he's not roping. He's, you know, he's, he's stuffing. Anyways, you can see I'm pretty good at that BM, boys. Look at this. It's it's like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me at this point, wizards? He just immortal sun dropped us again. Can we draw a second Ulamog just to prove a point? <laughs> I actually can have... I actually can drop another tempo. Oh, good. Okay, gain a little bit of life. Sure, why not? It is what it is, and I like it. Uh, let's do this. And he concedes. Good, good, good. 